It is a hot day outside, so I want to thank uh, Cal State LA for providing a cool place for us to uh, to spend a, an hour or so chatting about uh, civic participation and engagement and and uh, all of those things that that Dr. Covino mentioned that are important to, to me and important to him and important, obviously, to the Pat Brown Institute. So thank you to Cal State LA. When Dr. Covino was talking about all the common interests between myself and the campus, he obviously talked about the environmental activism, the environmental work that's done here on the campus, and he mentioned uh, the civic engagement and participation uh, aspect of this campus as well. This is also a campus with a strong arts program as well. My sister studied uh, theater and drama here. She was a graduate of, of, uh, of Cal State LA. My first job out of, uh, out of college was at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. And I always tell people that my, my first job uh, out of school was in the arts. And when I'm, when I'm done with this current job in about eight and a half years, I think my, my next job will, will be in the arts as well. So this is a, a campus with a has a widespread uh, different activities and interests, and they do them all exceptionally well. As Dr. Covino mentioned, I have a long history with the Cal State system. As a member, as, a, as the speaker, I get a spot on the Cal State Board of Trustees. Uh, so I'm a proud member of the Board of Trustees. Prior to being a member of the Board of Trustees, I was a Cal State graduate student. Prior to being a Cal State graduate student, I was a, actually after being a Cal State graduate student, I was a adjunct professor in the Cal State system. Prior to that, a Cal State graduate student. Prior to that, a Cal State undergraduate system. And prior to that, in 1987, I was kicked out of the Cal State system when I had a .83 grade point average. And um, so I understand the Cal State system from the utter depths um, to, uh, to, to where I am right now. Uh, as a member of the Board of Trustees. And I can say without a doubt that it is the Cal State system that has provided me with the pathway uh, to everything that I've been able to achieve in, in my life thus far, whether it was uh, running nonprofit organizations or, or serving in the, in the State Assembly. I know that um, all of you share that commitment uh, as well to this system. So again, thank you. Uh, I want to talk about why we're here. Uh, we are here because we are all very much dedicated to civic engagement and civic participation. We have seen over the course of this year uh, the tenor of the presidential uh, presidential race and what that what that means and what that uh, what that could mean uh, for our country. There are two dates that I uh, two anniversaries that I, I celebrate. Uh, one is my wedding anniversary. December 10th, um, Rafe introduced my, my wife, Annie. Uh, Annie's my, uh, my, not only my wife and my partner, my best friend, but also my top advisor. So if you, you wanna know what's gonna happen in the speaker's office, you should ask her first. Um, the other date that I don't, uh, s that I probably uh, forget from, now, uh, from time to time is uh, March 7th, and that was the date that I was sworn in as speaker. When I was sworn in as speaker, I said I had three goals that I wanted to focus on. The goals were uh, uh, decreasing poverty, increasing oversight of our governance systems, and also engaging, uh, in d deepening our engagement in civic participation. Today is part of that. Today is part of that effort to increase civic participation and civic engagement. And for me, that's the most fundamental building block of our democracy and in turn the most fundamental building block of our society. When I taught at Cal State Fullerton, it was simply for that goal, that simple goal of trying to get people involved in politics and trying to get people involved in their communities because I saw the impact that it had on me and the impact that it continues to have. I represent a district, nine cities in Southeast Los Angeles County where people don't vote for the most part, where people feel as though there's not a tremendous, uh, that you don't get a, receive a lot of benefits from voting. I represent a district in which there are nine cities and five of those cities have former council members in prison right now. And civic engagement and participation in, in one of my cities, for example, uh, a, a uh, city council race was decided where the top vote getter received 247 votes. When I won my primary in 2012, I finished first in my primary. I received only 6,100 votes. 
So civic participation and civic engagement is at the core of everything that happens in my office, whether it was when my office wrote the water bond a couple of years ago and instead of just sort of sitting in a, uh, in a room in the Capitol and sort of hammering out all the details, we went out and did 20 different town halls throughout the state, starting in the Coachella and the, and the south and going as far as Reading in the north. We could have done it another way, but we did it that way because that was the right way to do it. Because civic engagement and civic participation is something that I believe has to happen in my district, in each of the cities in my district, but it also has to happen uh, throughout California and throughout this country, because that's really, again, the core of, of what uh, I stand for, what the California Assembly stands for, and what the Pat Brown Institute stands for. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna talk to Rafe Sonnenshine for about an hour. Okay.